Okay, guys, listen. What I got right here is a copywriter. Um, all your four stroke engines, your copywriter going to set, set up, going to look a little bit like this. Even on the two strokes, all the copywriters pretty much look about the same, you know. Uh, well, today I'm going to show y'all how to clean this copywriter out and uh, show you what could be some problems on what's wrong with your copywriter, whether you got uh, X Motos dirt bike, four wheeler, um, pocket rocket. I mean, it, it, it's pretty much all the same setup. So right now we're going to go ahead and take it apart. And I'm going to show you guys what can be the proper cause of this thing not running right. So let's go ahead and get on into the video. Okay, guys and girls. So I got my setup on everything that I'm going to use to clean my copywriter with. I got a wire brush. Look, y'all, you don't have to use this, but I think brake clean is the best parts cleaner that you can never use. I used to use starting fluid, um, but um, brake clean, it's pretty good when you need to get up in those jets and spray down in all the holes and everything with. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. Now, if you're wondering about the wire brush, well, we're not gonna be using the whole wire brush. We're actually gonna be using one of the little metal pieces off the wire brush. So I use this right here to clean the jets with. They'll save time. You can, they, got, they sell little keys that you can go buy at AutoZone and O'Reilly's to stick up in the jets to clean them out but you know save yourself a little money get you a not trying to knock nobody out of making money but get you a little um wire brush thing and uh use that you'll be good to go save yourself some time and money but listen okay so what you want to do first proper cause on why your x motos or pocket rocket or whatever you got might not be working you want to go ahead and take the heads off now some of these um some of these carburetors are not easy to take off they don't make them and i will tell you this the x motos uh the bad news about that is that they don't have screws that you got to take out you actually got to ream them out and then go back with you some screws um which is a whole nother ball game so I have to show you guys on how to do that later on down the line and some more. Yeah, I had to move to another spot to get some more light, but um, yeah. So what you do, you get your filler pad screwdriver, take your bolts out. Um, some of them have three bolts, some of them have four bolts, some of them have two bolts. So what you're gonna do is take a flathead screwdriver. You want to take these jets up out of here because the jets are possibly stopped up. Now they're not hard. To take out so when you go to put the jets back in don't shove it up in there and don't cross thread it because then that's going to lead yourself into a whole nother <clears throat> situation that you don't want to be in so that jet slide up out of there like that you want to take a look at it look through it make sure you can see a hole in it if you don't see a hole all the way through there that's your problem it's stopped up you also got another jet in here oh almost lost that bad boy Make sure you got a cup to put this stuff in because you don't want to lose this. Let me go ahead and find something to put it in. Something I should have did at first. So, once you got that done, find yourself a little cup. Drop them down in the cup because you don't want to lose nothing. I promise you, you're going to regret it if you lose it. You don't want to lose it. This right here, I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep that screw in there so I know which side this thing go on. But you pretty much know which side to go on because it only going to fit one way. Okay, so since I took that jet out, I'm going to take this other jet out, which is the smaller jet. Go down screw that out like that. And you can see it's coming out. <coughs> Pull that jet up out of there. So that jet got about, and looking at this jet, um, the holes look pretty clear in it. So I'm still going to spray that out. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the cup. And also another thing, your float, your float could be stuck. Now, if you got old gas up in your carburetor, <clears throat> the first thing to get stuck is your jet. I mean, it's, it's, it's your jet and your floats. Now you got a float that sit up under here. 
and you'll see that float once you take this little pin out right here so you have to slide this pin out it come out real easy it just hangs there's the pin right there you want to take that out put it in the cup and this come right up off so you see that there's a float right there that's a float that thing gets stuck up in this hole occasionally so if it's stuck up in this hole that means it's not going to do its job so what you want to do is spray that out too and you also want to clean off your float bowl so the first thing i want to do since i got this carburetor taken apart i want to go ahead and spray some brake clean up in there to make sure everything is steady so while i take my brake clean i just spray up in the hole Spray all up in there. Like I say, y'all make sure y'all got some gloves on when y'all doing this. And just spray all around up in there. Once you spray it up in there, go ahead and spray your parts in here. I'll put a little brake clean in there and let them kind of soak a little bit. Put some brake, um, brake clean up into my top. And I let them just sit there. And uh, I just take and shake it around a little bit. And while I got them setting, one thing you want to do, you want to make sure that this float bowl float don't come off of it. Because if it come off of it, guess what? You lose it, you're going to go put this thing back together. You're not going to be able to know what's going on. What's going to happen is this little piece right here that fell off and you forgot to put it back on. So make sure that's back on. <clears throat> so I went ahead and put that back on. Now... Also, I'm going to spray the top. Spray that out real good. And another thing, y'all, listen. Another thing. Even though you're cleaning all this right here, also check your tubes. Because your tubes can be stopped up as well. So, I always make sure you take them tubes out and clean them. Before you put them back in. Because a lot of times, them tubes could be stopped up with old gas. So, I always make sure that tube nice and clean. I'm going to go ahead and take this tube off, and then once I got it off, I'm going to go ahead. That's where the straw come in handy at. When you got a straw in there, stick that straw up in the tube and spray it. You spray it, you see stuff come out of it, you know it's open. So that's clean. So we'll go ahead and put that back on. Put that bad boy back on there like that. <clears throat> this top right here, this piece right here goes to the top of the gas tank. So when I put the gas tank back on, that little piece right there slide back onto the gas tank. Okay, so now you got all that sprayed out, clean. So you want to go ahead and sit that to the side. Now, next thing you want to do, you want to go ahead and go back to your little parts that you didn't spray. Let's go ahead and get the secret sauce off. Well, there ain't no secret sauce because y'all already know what it is. But um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and take them out of there. Let's go ahead and um, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the the spray and get the pieces out. Okay, got the pieces out right now. I'm gonna get the other piece out now. So that's why I tell you this way this way that um wire brush come in handy at. Now let me get the wire brush. So I'm gonna take my wire brush, y'all. It don't have to be name brand. It can be any kind of wire brush. Just taking we'll get your little piece off that wire brush because you're gonna use this piece right here. To get up in your jets so you want to take your jet look at your jet real good look at your jet holes and just slide it up in your jet holes each individual hole you want to go in there and you want to wiggle it out this one right here got a lot of jet holes in it so you're gonna have to really just put it up in there get that bad boy up in there and clean them holes out want to clean them out go around it real good go on each individual hole and a lot of times when you do this, it'll go through one hole and not the other hole. So you see how, I don't know if y'all can see it, but you go in one hole and go out the other hole. So that's how you know them jets pretty clean. If it don't go in one hole and not the other hole, that means that jet stopped up. So go ahead and just get them bad boys cleaned out, and then you'll be ready to roll to the next process. Hope y'all guys having an awesome day today, man. If you're enjoying the video, make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe. 
after this. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying my best to put these videos out for y'all. The most helpful man on the planet. You know what I'm saying? Your boy G so creative. That's how we do it. That's how we get down. S Moto Gang, what's popping? We in the building. Okay, so I got that jet clean. What I want to go ahead and do, I want to go ahead and put this back in because that's done. So I ain't need this sitting out. Make sure that this tip right here go back up in the hole like that. Then go ahead and screw it on by hand. Don't just start putting pressure to it. Screw it in by hand. Make sure it's going in. Then take your flat head. You don't want to put a lot of pressure on it, but just snug it. You just need a light snug. That's all you need. You don't need to put your back into it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't in no strong man competition. You ain't trying to super twist that bad boy. So we got that in now. All right. Now, that's another jet that we got. So um, I think I already cleaned this prior, but yeah, I already cleaned this one. But it got jet holes in it as well. So make sure you go ahead and clean them holes out too. And then you're going to stick this. And look, you got a hole right here also in the center. So take your spray, put the spray on that bad boy, and spray it. <clears throat> You'll be good to go. You go ahead and slide that back up in there. Now, you, now you're on the road to having your x motos or crotch rockets or goat carts or whatever you might have, you're on the road to getting it fixed. Because, like I say, these work on Predator engines. These carburetors, I mean, they, they pretty much universal, man. Yeah. If you clean one out, you clean them all out because they all the same. Don't let nobody tell you different. If you got a carburetor that don't quite look like this, but it's in that form, it, it's the same process, man. Don't let nobody tell y'all nothing different. I'm going to be straightforward with you. So when you get that enough, go ahead and twist that. Like I say, you ain't in no wrestling competition, so you ain't trying to arm wrestle with this thing. You just want to snug it like that right there. Bam! Good to go. Yeah, I'm shat. So, we got that done. Now, the next process we're going to do, look inside your bowl. Because a lot of times, you got that grime up inside your bowl. So, you want to go ahead and get all that stuff out of there. You don't want no grime in your bowl. Because what they're going to do, whatever grime and dirt you got in the bottom of that bowl, it's going to suck back up into your engine. You don't want that. Um, <clears throat> This right here, it's your drain. Uh, this right here is your drain tube. So you got a line that goes from here, that goes back out to right here. So when you go to twist this knob, they let gas out your carburetor. Um, <clears throat> this right here, it pretty much stays clean because it always got gas in it. So, but if you want to, you can go ahead and spray it out too, like so. And um, what we're gonna do? Make sure everything is everything. Now, this right here. You want to make sure when you put it back on, it lines up so it can goes into this hole right here. And also, make sure your rubber is around that carburetor because if that rubber broke, you're going to have leaking gas all around your carburetor. You don't want that. So make sure that's on there. And before you put this on, also, you want to go ahead and take this right here. And then you want to slide it back on your carburetor. Slide that bad boy back on. Put it back on like you had it. Slide it down into the hole, hold it, take your pin, slide your pin back up through. You just reversing the process. That's the only thing you're doing, reversing the process. Make sure that pin set level. So now, now you got your float moving good. Now you got your jets clean. Like I said, don't forget, make sure you got all your rubber around your carburetor line and this bad boy ready to be put back on. So what you want to do, go ahead and line everything back up. Like so. Make sure all your screws and everything lined up. And then you can go ahead and tighten that bad boy down and get it rolled ready. So, like I say, I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything lined up because that's just me. Like everything lined up. It goes on the inside of your float. It ain't going to go on the outside of your float. So, I got that on there like that. Go ahead and take your screw. Put the screw back in. Now keep in mind when I told you about that boat, that's going to have to go down here first. This line is going to reconnect back on here. Now, a lot of carburetors don't have this, but depending on what you're working on, 
Make sure you put everything back the way you had it. You don't want to go a different route with that because that can throw some stuff off. So keep that in mind when you're trying to clean your carburetor out. Go ahead and get that bad boy down. Like right, so. Get it screwed down. Don't screw it down tight just yet. You want to make room for your other screw. And, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get this last screw in here. And then we'll be ready to put this bad boy back together. Y'all, I got a lot of projects that I'm working on. So, I'm probably going to do a few more projects before I drop some more x Moto videos. Because I'm trying to get all these videos out. And, um, uh, you know, for different people. Because I know everybody ain't got an x Motos, Everybody ain't got a four-wheeler. Everybody ain't got pocket rocket, motorcycle, whatever, whatever. So I'm putting out a lot of different video content for different people. So I uh, appreciate y'all liking, subscribing, commenting. And uh, yeah, we got this bad boy back together. Like I say, make sure your carburetor tighten up. Make sure she got a nice little snug on it. And this bad boy is ready to be put back together. So I mean, only thing you got to do is reverse the process. And uh, let me show y'all what I'm putting it in. So like I say, this right here actually come out of this pocket rocket, took it out. So now I'm finna put this bad boy back in and all I will have to do is just slide this in, put gas in it and she'll crank right up because I know, you know, last time it sat for a while. So I know that had to been the issue is that it had got stopped up. So once I do that, this project will be complete. Then we'll do some speed runs on it later on down the line, uh, maybe some top speed runs and like I say, we'll put that other one, that other pocket rocket that goes 70, we'll put that to the test. Uh, I also got some more, um, I got a motor scooter. Man, we finna make that motor scooter run, man. So I got a lot of more content, man. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and like and subscribe, comment, share. Man, hit that notification bell, dog, because look, I got a lot of more videos. Ain't no stopping me, because I do too much not to have a lot of videos. I'm going to always keep content coming. So... Make sure you go and like and subscribe, y'all. I can't stress that enough. Because I reason why mainly I tell y'all to go ahead and subscribe because, like I have mentioned in, the last, in my last videos, you won't miss out on nothing. You know what I'm saying? I hate for people to miss out on stuff. You know, if you subscribe and hit that notification bell, you can keep up with everything. Also, if you got something in your garage that you're working on, guess what? You got somebody right here who can actually slow it down and give you step-by-step step on what you need to do to get your thing running. You know what I'm saying? So, you know... I'm one of the beneficial uh, YouTubers, like I told y'all in the beginning. I like to help people, man. So if you got something sitting around, me, I don't like seeing stuff sitting around. I hate seeing stuff sitting around not running. So I work on it in my free time. When I got time to do it, I get on it, man. Because what you got to do, y'all, listen. You can do anything you put your mind to. Don't never let nobody tell y'all that you can't do something. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a talent. If you ain't discovered your talent yet, just get out there and see what you know how to do. And just work on it. That talent could take you real far in life. I'm going to tell y'all something. When I started off working on these things, I didn't know what I was doing. I got on YouTube one time, and um, I'm talking about like years ago, seeing how to fix one thing, man. Matter of fact, it was a gold car I had. Do y'all know when I fixed that one gold car, I didn't need YouTube no more to fix nothing else because I took that same experience I had with that gold car and just kind of built myself up off that. And start looking at things. It take a lot of common sense too. You got to have more common sense. Because, I mean, that's something can't nobody teach you. They can't teach you common sense. They can teach you knowledge, but they can't keep teach you common sense. That got to be something that you automatically got in your head. So, what I'm saying. I'm saying that to say this. If you got a project, save yourself some money, man. Don't be quick to just take your stuff somewhere and let somebody else fix it when you can do it yourself. I mean, stuff is pretty explanatory. Only thing you got to do is just take your time, look at it. And just go for what you know. Like I did. Everything I did. Okay. Let's say I took the, um, let's say if I'm new to taking something off. What you do is just take a picture of it. Take a picture of everything that you take off. That way, when you get everything fixed that you need to be fixed, when it's time to go put it back together, look at them pictures. Them pictures are going to tell you everything. If not pictures, do videos. Because videos do a whole lot. Especially, you know, you, you might be sitting there talking to yourself saying, hey, okay, so I took this off, so this going to go back here. I took this off, so this going to go back here. Look, who cares, man? You're doing a self-memo. So do whatever it takes 
to get whatever you got to get running. I don't care if it's a car, truck, dirt bike, pocket rocket, golf cart, four-wheeler, scooter, whatever it is, bicycle. Just take pictures and videos of whatever you do, man. I promise you, you will master that. So that's my little video I wanted to give you guys today. I ain't going to say short video because I know this video was pretty long, but this video got a lot of good, helpful information in it. And that's why I tell y'all, don't fast forward because fast forwarding through anything, you can miss the slightest information that I tell you because I got a motor mouth. I know I talk a lot. So in that process of me talking, you can miss any given thing that I tell you just by fast forwarding five seconds, 10 seconds. You can miss it. So watch the full video and then you can get the full knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So my next video, y'all, I got some more videos coming. I got, like you said, like you can tell right now, I got a garage full of a lot of stuff. I mean, I apologize for it being junky, but I got stuff that I'm working on. got stuff that I'm fixing. I got cars outside that I got doing projects on. So I got a lot going on, y'all. But um, hang in there with me on the journey because I got a lot of stuff. To show you guys in the future, man. It just gonna get better from here. It's, it only can get better. So, once again, thanks for liking, watching, subscribing. I appreciate y'all, man. Especially ones who've been there with me since day one, man. I got much love for y'all. No doubt. I don't care how many subscribers I get up to, man. I never forget the ones who was there for me at the beginning. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. So, this your boy, Juice So Creative. I'm signing out. Y'all, I got another video coming for y'all this weekend, man. So, stay tuned, man. Love y'all. Peace. I'm gone.